You guys are awesome.
very well known. Now, I gotta tell you, I gotta get my sunglasses. We actually have the sun came out here on Fifth Avenue in New York City. Blue sky overhead, it's getting warm. Feels great, what an afternoon here for the New York St. Patrick's Day Parade. So everybody's having a great time, no rain. We thought we were getting worried there for a little bit around one o'clock, 1.30, but uh, the rain uh, went in a different direction. And we've got a marching, the marching pride here, Palmetto Ridge High School from Naples, Florida. Great to see you. Thanks for coming to New York from all the way from Naples, Florida, down the southwest uh, part of the state. Real warm there this time of year. It gets warm in Naples, Florida, you know, in late March. But we got their cheerleaders here, and they're having a great time marching up Fifth Avenue in New York City. Now we've got their twirlers. What a great experience this must be to come to New York City for all these youngsters, these high school students, and march in the parade and uh, visit New York. They get to see some of the sights of the city. And look at the smiles on their faces as they march up Fifth Avenue in New York City. And now we got their marching band. I think we've got 100 cheerleaders and twirlers already. Now we got the marching band. And these guys look like they know what they're doing. This is Palmetto Ridge High School Marching Pride Band from Naples, Florida. Going by, they look great in their green and black uniform. All the bands have their parents and uh, band directors that uh, accompany them and uh, kind of walk on the side. Oh boy, they look good. We don't get a number out of them in front of the band stand, but uh, they're marching by all the aides and the grand marshal. And uh, that again is the Palmetto Ridge High School Marching Pride Band from Naples, Florida. Thanks for coming to New York and marching up Fifth Avenue on St. Patrick's Day. Great to see that. Uh, so we should have our friends from Bishop Hendrick and High School and then our friends from Providence College. So Bishop Hendrick. And they're from Warwick, Rhode Island, just south of Providence. Great band, they march, they come out every year. Look good, and we're getting some mu nice music, a nice marching song out of them. And okay, I gotta admit, I'm a Providence College alumnus, and I got uh, the delegation from Providence in the parade about 10 years ago. And we got our Providence delegation led by their ROTC department. Their Sergeant Major Gary Fortunato. And uh, so they're looking good. We got a nice white banner. The Friars, they're in the NCAA tournament. And they're having a great day. They got their nice green sashes out there. Got some stragglers along along the way. Got a couple of baby strollers, and uh, even the baby stroller, stroller's got a sash on it. That's Hillary Byrne, our uh, one of our parade directors. My friend Paul Belmonte, uh, a fellow Providence College alumnus, and we've got an alumnus and uh, a future student. Oh, this is a group from Orlando, Florida. Lee Phyllis from Orlando, Florida. Dr. Phyllis Panthers. That's who these are. These folks are. Yeah, they were scheduled to be going off a little later, but um, uh, the parade moved them ahead. Possibly so they might have uh, an opportunity to go to an event tonight, maybe the theater. And... Uh, so this is the Dr. Phillips band uh, from Orlando, Florida. Good looking band, big drum section. I mean, some of these bands are immense. I mean, this is another, got to be 150 to 200 band members. Sharp looking blue and white and uh, cream uniforms. We got to find out who uh, Dr. Phillips was. But you know, sometimes afterwards when we... Had, we
And this is Ken Kreitzer for the New York St. Patrick's Day Parade. I have a chance to talk with one of the key people uh, on the parade uh, staff, and that is Joe Hanneman. And Joe is in charge of recruiting and working with the out-of-town bands that come from all across the country, and uh, it's a big job. Joe, how did you get started uh, with the parade and uh, helping us find bands that want to come into New York in March? Well, I was I started with the parade many, many years ago. We won't go into how many, but I started with the parade, and Frank Byrne was the one the previous uh, chairman was the uh, one that got me interested in being a member of the parade committee. I, at one time before I retired, which was eight years ago, coordinated 31 parades in the city of New York annually. Now I do eight. But uh, as far as the out-of-town bands, I have the hardest part of it is to get the kids interested enough in the in the parade to uh, what do you say raise money? Because sure. it costs an average of about five to six hundred dollars for every child that comes into this parade. And uh, give you an example. We have a band coming this year from North Cicero, North Syracuse, New York. I saw them in the Orange Dome. Now, if you expect their school district to come up with the money, no. They won't, they won't do it because it's not within their budget. I saw them in November. I said to the man in the Carrier Dome, are you with the band? He had a jacket on, needless to say, that said he was. And uh, he said yes. I said, I want the band in St. Patrick's Day Parade. Here's my card. I gave him a phone call, and the uh, band leader said to me, how much money can you put toward our travel? I said, absolutely none. And I said, we have 168 bands in the parade, and you are one 168th of the bands invited. However, they are the New York State ch champions currently, so they will be leading a group up the, of the avenue that is a very, very special and we hope they make NBC TV but if there's a commercial, they won't. Well, uh, Joe Hanneman, uh, tell us about some of the bands. I know we've got bands uh, from Alabama and from uh, the Midwest coming uh, this year. Uh, tell us about some of the bands. I, I know they all have interesting backgrounds. Many uh, have, uh, have significant accomplishments. Well, we have uh, the largest band in the parade annually is Londonderry. Londonderry marches any place between 286 and 300, and they've had as many as 316 kids in line. Uh, and they are a magnificent band. Then you have on top of that, we have right now the Alabama and Southern United States tier champion, which is uh, the Hewitt Truesville marching band from uh, Truesville, uh, Alabama. Then we have a band coming in from West Virginia that's from a very poor section of West Virginia. And there's a case where these kids had to do car washes. They sold everything except themselves, I think, to get here, here, here to New York, and they'll be here. The big problem we have with the Southern bands, especially, I'm a transplant now to Florida. The people in Florida think that this is winter, 60 degrees, oh my God. But the kids in, from Florida come up to, here to this parade. It's not the kids like the kids from Londonderry, New Hampshire, thinking they're coming south. These kids are coming north. And a lot of them, we had snow two years ago, and it was the first time in their lives that the Florida band saw snow, which is a very unusual thing because we take that for granted. Well, we saw the kids from uh, Alabama last year. They seemed to enjoy the uh, sunshine we had on St. Patrick's Day. Joe Hanneman, tell us a little bit. How did you get involved? I understand you were with the West Point Band uh, at one time. Yes, I was in the. I was in the. Started off as a 17-year-old boy. I came in 1956 with a friend of mine. I have a last name of Hanneman, H-A-H-N-E-M-A-N-N, -N, which is obviously German. And but my actual ancestry is Irish. Sounds like me. And uh, what happened was uh, I went to the parade with my friends, all Irishmen, and I saw the Boston University band. 
or Boston College band, I should say it was, and they had chrome helmets on. I thought to myself, boy, that's interesting. I thought it was an army band coming down the street, and it wasn't. I joined the National Guard and played the next year with the 69th Regiment. And while I was in West Point, for, for four of the six years I was up there, I bought four tuba players down, myself and three tuba other guys, and we all marched with the uh, 69th Regiment band and made the 69th Regiment band look like a much bigger band than it really was with all of our tubas in the back row. But uh, then from there I went on to start teaching. I taught St. Clair's in Rosedale. I used to march for Wexford. And I taught for Saint, taught St. Agnes in Rockville Center, which was the Patriots marching band, which played for, I think, Longford, I'm not sure. I know they won five, first place in the Hempstead trade for many years. And then I uh, went on from there to uh, other places and uh, always bought the, the bands always wound up in the St. Patrick's Day parade somehow and then Frank Byrne I met Frank Byrne in 1986 and he had me working with the Line of March Committee for a while because of my experience in parades and then I moved over to music when the opening came up and from 1980 no 1990 up to present I've been the music chairman of the parade well, that's terrific, and uh, what a history, and what a contribution. Uh, it must be exciting for the high school students to come into New York. Many haven't been to New York before, and get a couple of days uh, uh, here in the city, march to the parade. But I know they also get a chance to do a lot of sightseeing. Oh, yeah, and in fact, one of the things I found was very disturbing was that the way some of the tour agencies that these kids, you know, you get a group from Arkansas or Texas or someplace that isn't familiar with New York. So I developed a, a thing, and I have a fellow that handles it for me, for the bands that are interested. We take them on a boat ride after the parade. They go, uh, they have uh, sightseeing trips. In fact, one of the bands is in town right now. It's North Carolina from Maryland, Maryland and that band is going on a trip of the parade route tomorrow. They're going to ride down, instead of going up Fifth Avenue as the parade does, they're going to ride down Fifth Avenue, see what's, where St. Patrick's Cathedral is, see all the different parts of, of the city as part of their initiation, so to speak, into the St. Patrick's Day parade. Absolutely. Boy, what experience it must be for the youngsters on the out-of-town high schools to come in. As For everyone, is there a special moment in, in parade history that stands out for you, uh, any of the out-of-town bands coming into New York, or any other special moment uh, that's, that you remember uh, really stands out for you, Joe Hanneman? Well, let's put it this way. Andy Susie, who is the band director of the Londonderry, New Hampshire Band, Here's a band that marches between 280 and 316 pieces. And they're magnificent. I mean, the only way I can put it is they are magnificent. We have years that Andy will say, hey, Joe, do me a favor. Don't give us the trophy again this year. He says, let the kids work, for, work a little harder for next year. And they're wonderful kids. It's a wonderful activity. And you know what? We have the largest teams in the schools. Remember, a football team, a baseball team, and a soccer team, all collectively, is at 316 pieces. I'm always amazed at how uh, marching bands can't coordinate. We see uh, so many uh, great high school and college bands performing. And, uh, well, uh, Joe, just, uh, I bet uh, you're looking forward to St. Patrick's Day. And I know you have one more final thought for us. My dream if there is a, such a thing as a dream after all of these years, my dream is to see the Fighting Irish march down Le in this parade. And I'll tell you, I mean the Notre Dame band from Notre Dame, Indiana. Wouldn't it be great to see Notre Dame in this parade? Unfortunately, Notre Dame takes their spring break during the time of our parade, and I don't think anybody would count heads. I think if they came with 200 pieces, we'd just be just as happy. Well, I know Notre Dame's playing basketball on Friday in uh, Brooklyn at the Barclays Center for the NCAA tournament, so you never know. They might have some of their uh, musicians with them. Joe Hanneman, great to see you, and thank you for all that you've done and continue to do for the, for the New York City St. Patrick's Day Parade. I hope I can do it for another 75 years. So do we. Good to see you. This is Ken Kratzer for the New York St. Patrick's Day Parade.